22.4, the GA release of the Mac Assistant, will provide Mac OS employees with access to automations with just a click of a button. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Mac Assistant and one of the ready-to-go automations we're preparing to release for it. Here we have the Mac Assistant in the Mac OS environment. As you can see, the Mac Assistant is very similar to the Assistant on your Windows desktop. We have our processes, our apps, you can even move one of these tiles to your favorite pins on the right hand side. Next, we have all the widgets that are familiar to you within your Windows Assistant. You can set a reminder so you can run this automation at a later time. We also have the Marketplace widget, which starting in 21.10 provides you instant access to all the ready to go automations from the Marketplace. On the right hand side here, you'll have all the media you need. And then once you're ready, just click install to install that ready to go automation to your assistant. But let's take a look at one ready to go automation that we've created specifically for the Mac Assistant. This automation is gonna allow you to create Word documents from a Word template using information from a CSV file. Here we have the Word template with placeholders that are going to be replaced with information from the CSV file. And here's our CSV file containing all of our information. For each row in this file, we're gonna create one Word document. Once you're ready and you've modified your input files, you're gonna go back to your Mac Assistant, click on the process, show process details, and then provide the input details here. So we're gonna go ahead and really quickly grab that file path for that Word template. I'm gonna grab it from my documents folder and then paste it into my Mac Assistant pane. Next, I'm gonna grab the file path for that CSV input file. We're gonna go back to that documents folder, copy that file path, and then paste it here. And then last but not least, we're gonna get the folder path to the folder where we wanna generate those Word documents. Perfect, once we're ready, we're gonna click save to save those inputs and then click run once we're ready. This is a cross-platform project created in Studio, so it's gonna use those APIs to create those Word documents. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and created a Word document for each of those rows in the CSV file. And then within the document itself, we've replaced those placeholders with information from that specific row. We're really excited to enable this capability to our Mac OS users, allowing them to run cross-platform projects, both created in Studio and Studio Web.